Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Most beautiful women are adjustables. Most beautiful women are adjustables. And, you know, it's been a while since I talked about adjustable sevens. And what's an adjustable seven? First, let me shout out Master Teacher BGS. He's the first one to use that term. You know how I am. If I use something, I ain't come up with it. I'll let other people know, right? But, you know, he said an adjustable seven. An adjustable seven is a woman who's just normally a seven, but she can adjust up to an eight or a nine, right? And, you know, and adjust just mean, you know, she put on some, you know, she put on some clothes, um, you know, nice clothes, some clothes that accentuate her body, you know, depending on what her best body parts are, she'll wear something that'll show it. In fact, shout out cousin T tall in his book, the, the seduction scriptures. He, he, uh, talked, he touched on that. Uh, women, whatever their body type is, they'll wear clothes that will accentuate it. So when you get a lot of these beautiful women, that's, that's one, that's obvious. Like their body, they will always accentuate whatever they got. Whatever their top thing is, they'll make sure everybody else know. If they got big breastesses, they'll wear something that will show them. They got a fat round ass, they'll wear some tight jeans. uh, You know, summertime, they're wearing those like hot pants shorts, you know. Whatever it takes, they will show it. You know, or leggings. If they got nice legs, either shorts or some uh, leggings or something that will show their shape. You know, if they got that tight stomach, you know, they will wear something that will show it. Shoot, some women will even put that diamond uh, in their navel. If they got a flat stomach, make sure people see it, right? Whatever it is. So that's one, but then even in their face, the makeup industry, well, it's definitely a billion dollar industry. It might be a trillion dollar industry. And I'm going to tell you what, with makeup, Women with some makeup magic, they could, they always go up about two points, you know. Now, I've always said I've worked retail. I used to work at a major department store in the area, right? The makeup department, <laughs> the makeup department, I would see women come in there looking like, ah, all right. And then after the makeup artist got through with the women, they would look, like I said, at least two points better. So if they came in a five, they walk out looking like a seven. So imagine if they already a seven and they do it more, right? They get that makeup right. Boom. Like some women, they experts with the makeup. They they like every blemish, they'll cover it up expertly. You wouldn't even know they have a blemish or anything. And, you know, and then, you know, the makeup and then they make sure they get their hair done right. They'll, they'll make sure they got their hair done right. Boom. They be looking good. Only thing they would have trouble with is maybe hiding the teeth. But then a lot of them, they'll get their teeth fixed if they, if they got problems there. Or don't smile that much. Right? But, and then if you talk about social media, since so many uh, dudes thinking, oh, that woman they checking out on social media is just so fun. Man, they got so many filters, it's scary. And camera angles and everything is scary. But my point is this. A lot of times, guys will look at a woman and go crazy over those women that they label it in the 8 to 10 range. The A1 women. The top tier women, right? But really, they ain't all that. And then they will say, and then another thing, right? Here's another angle with that. They will see that 8 to 10 woman with that guy who might be a 6, right? He might be a 6. Even though I tell guys, hey, don't be checking out another guy like that. It's going to happen anyway, right? So it's like, okay, whatever. Don't dwell on it at least. But then they'll be wondering like, wow, how's he with her? He don't look like all that. Well, first of all, with men, let's be real. And even though I talked about men improving their look to the greatest extent possible, men don't wear makeup. The closest men get to makeup, or at least heterosexual men don't wear makeup. The closest we get to makeup is having a certain haircut and a beard. That's it. 
You know, every blemish on our face, we let that shit hang out. We let that shit hang out. And honestly, let me go on a tangent on that. The reality is, if a man look kind of rough, that turn on many women because it looks more masculine. So that scar or like that bump or something, that you'd be surprised how that will turn on a woman. As long as that rough, that's why I like a lot of men who fuck like crazy are more rough looking. They ain't pretty boys. They rough looking. Yeah, we in general we can say pretty boys getting the attention, but really <laughs> it'd be the rough looking ones really fucking. Right, but the thing is, whatever the case, men don't fix themselves up as much. So, like, you walking down the street and you see, and it's like, well, why that? How that average looking guy get that woman? Or some guys might call that guy ugly or something, right? Um, actually, he's, he's believe it or not, it's likely he's looks matched with the woman you're looking at. Like, any guy who's actually had sex with a number of women, and when I say number, I'm gonna put the number over 10. Because most guys, the average man only having sex with seven, well, only has sex with seven women in his life. That's average. Most don't even get that far, right? But any man who's had sex with a number of women, he's gone out with that woman who had, who was looking good, had that makeup on real good and everything, looked real good. But then they have sex, she's sweating and stuff. Psh, that, that shit is gone. That shit is gone, and then you be rubbing it, rubbing. I remember I was with one woman. I was uh, putting my hands through her hair. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Now, I thought the hair was just color. She had on some tracks. I, remember, I was like, oh, my God. Because a lot of these women that we call them beautiful, they ain't all that. They adjustables. They ain't even adjustable sevens. They adjustable sixes. So you see that guy that you might say, oh, he just a six. I hate get her. That's because when she, when she shower... When everything uh, taken off, she is six. They actually looks matched. Seriously. It's very, 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 very few women who just have that natural look. Seriously. Very few women who just got that natural look who would rate in the eight to ten range. It's rare. Whose skin is just like tight, just smooth naturally. No blemishes, got the bone structure right, body right. Now, they exist for sure, but that's rare. That's rare. And my point is, sometimes a man got to look at, like to most men, first of all, I don't even take the pictures I see on Instagram seriously when I look at their face. I don't even take that shit seriously. Because I remember there was a couple, one woman I uh, had followed, had followed, right? Got a killer butt and all of that stuff. She showed a close-up of her face one time. I was like, she average looking. Because usually she shows it at a distance, got the makeup on. One day she just showed it without makeup. I was like, oh. seriously. And that's why, I'm going to tell you what, that's a big reason why a so-called average looking man can get him. Because one thing that average man does, he's real. He's real. And women tend to go, women tend to go for their matches, believe it or not. Now, the natural beauties and stuff, when you, yeah, yeah, they can be tough. The roll out of bed beauties, oh, yeah, they're extremely tough. But most other women, they're adjustables. I'm going to tell you the truth. That's why I take faces with a grain of salt, a woman's face. I'm more into a body. She can't really hide that too much. Notice I said too much, but psh, shit. You know, when you got push up bras and waist trainers <laughs> and everything, heels, trust me, they, they can make that look better than it, it needs to. You know? But seriously, keep that in mind when you see these people. Don't go crazy over the woman. You're going crazy over her mask. You ain't going crazy over her true essence. And seriously, that's a big reason why you will see a very beautiful woman with an average dude. She just fixed up a lot. You know? In fact, I know one woman, I'm, I'm in this, and I talked about her before. It's an um, uh, Asian lady. She might even see this thing. Might get mad at me for saying this, but I'm just going to be real. I remember when I seen her fixed up, pow, dime, <laughs> straight dime. Like, everybody see it be like dime, dimes, fixed up, because she could fix up, like, just totally makeup, body, how she wears shoes, everything, hair. And I still never forget the day I saw her 
like just dress plain. Like she was just going into like this little store in the area. And I look, I barely, I didn't recognize it for us. Like now she went from looking like a nine when she fixed up. And she actually, she's still about a seven. She's still about a seven when she's like, she don't have on the tight clothes and everything. Seriously. Because look, fellas, always understand, keep that in mind. Women are, they are experts at uh, raising their account. That's their game. That's their game. So don't go crazy. You want to deal with the woman's true essence because that's you want to deal with the one you're going to see in the bedroom. So that's the thing. So even when you see that average looking guy with that very beautiful woman, they probably at the same level. In fact, it tells you a lot. So anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.